Hi, everyone, to you all. One more time, we are in uh, this beautiful chapter of grade 11, General Science, and this is chapter number one. We will continually talk about living tissues. Today, we are going to speak about the permanent tissue. Under this permanent tissue, let's learn something about simple permanent tissues. <laughs> Fine. A tissue that lost its ability to divide and specialize to perform a particular function is known as permanent tissues. Now, in our previous session, we were talking about the tissue that got ability to divide and specialize to perform a particular function. Now, this tissue doesn't got that. It's right opposite to that. So this is known as permanent tissues. This is known as what? It's called the permanent tissue. So we are going to talk about that permanent tissue now. Let's see. According to the nature of the permanent tissue, it can be grouped into two. Now they are going to classify that particular tissue based on the nature of the permanent tissue. Now it can be grouped into two as simple permanent tissue. That is first one. Okay, we are going to talk about simple permanent tissue and the second one is complex permanent tissue. So, the second one is about the complex permanent tissue. Now, simple and complex. One type of cells collected together. In this simple one, one type of cell is there. One type of cells. Now, you see this different and complex permanent tissue, different types of cells in this there will be different types of cells are there. So you came to know what is the major different, different types of cells. All right. So isn't this interesting? So it's very simple to understand. Simple got one type of cells and complex got different types of cells. Isn't this wonderful? Okay. Now we'll talk about the simple permanent tissue as we promised. Fantastic. Now, simple permanent tissue, the tissue is composed of similar cells. We know about it. We already know about it. According to the shape of a cell and the nature of the cell wall, three types of simple permanent tissues as number one, parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma can be identified in the plants. Now, in the simple also, they are dividing that simple let me take a different color pen that is the first one is paren okay and the second one is colon see it's very easy to uh, remember when you do that okay and the third one is scleron it sounds like a, a name of somebody right paren colon and scleron so this is according to what according to the shape of cell and the nature of cell wall the first one is shape of cell that's number one and the second one is the nature of the cell wall nature of the cell wall they are dividing that one degree parenchyma colon chema and sclerenchyma right now how does it look like the parenchyma looks exactly like that and colon chema look like this and sclerenchyma looks exactly like this so you can post the video and have a note and look very carefully how the cells are being arranged in this parenchyma, colon chema and sclerenchyma. So in this lesson we came to know the simple permanent tissue and under that simple permanent tissue there are three tissues parent, colon and sclerenchyma. We are going to meet you in another beautiful session to talk about further Bye-bye and take care of yourself.